What Lend-Lease Goods did Soviet soldiers like the most? Lend-Lease supplies played a crucial role for Soviet soldiers during World War II, particularly in food and medical supplies. One of the most beloved items was the famous American canned meat, known jokingly by soldiers as the Second Front. Many veterans still remember it fondly for its taste and nourishment, and it was widely distributed to troops and in the rear. The canned meat was so popular that it was often recalled before vehicles and airplanes in wartime stories. In addition to canned meat, soldiers also received a variety of other Lend-Lease goods, such as sausage, canned goods, bread made from Lend-Lease flour, lard, bacon, chocolate, condensed milk, cigarettes, and tobacco. Most of the food came from the United States, although there were also supplies from Britain. On the medical front, Lend-Lease provided much-needed supplies like bandages, painkillers, and the most important of all, American penicillin. The American version was purer and more effective than the Soviet penicillin, which was produced in limited quantities until 1942. Penicillin remained scarce in the USSR until 1948. Lend-Lease also included clothing, both military and civilian. Veterans often recall receiving English-made military coats, tunics and boots, although the British coats were ill-suited for Russian winters, so Soviet coats were used during the cold months. Occasionally, American clothing and footwear were also provided. Another essential supply was communication equipment, Due to a shortage of communication tools in the Soviet Union, Lend-Lease delivered radios, telephones and radio stations, which significantly improved the Soviet Army's ability to stay connected. Notably, American phones and radios like the EE-108 and W-100 were highly praised by Soviet signalers for their superior quality. Canada also supplied radars that allowed the detection of enemy aircraft making it easier to plan operations and maintain field communication. Lend-lease goods proved indispensable and they were vital to both the soldiers on the front lines and those in the rear. 